Hey, so I hope you're well. Uh, I'm doing all right, hanging in there. Actually, I've been doing really good. I've been doing perhaps better than I've done in my whole life. I've struggled a lot with uh, oversleeping. Struggled a lot with, yeah, being lazy. Even though there is so many things that I want to do. So many things that I have burning inside of me uh, that I want to make, I want to finish, uh, words that I want to people to hear and um, and I'm at a point right now where here I am 25 and I really feel breakthrough. Um, I'm still striving for consistency. That seems to be the word of the moment for me. And so I'm growing in consistency uh, in waking up early and um, reading my word, reading God's word. Um, I'm growing in consistency. And it's interesting to me because the more I read God's word, the more I pray and like actually do the things I feel I should do, uh, the more I grow in my identity as opposed to identifying with things that's different, the more I actually grow in my true identity, um, the more I get a little frightened. Um, I have this sensation going on that or I have this sensation pop up whenever I start to shine I get scared whenever I start to shine I I put I put the basket right back on you know I put the the lamp basket right back on the light bulb and um, it's such a weird thing and so I believe I'm experiencing the process of breaking through the fear of man and um, and um, redefining myself I've identified for a while with slothfulness. It was something someone just called me in high school. They said, you kind of remind me of a sloth. And I was like, hey, that's, that's facts. And so I changed my Instagram name to Slothy Seth, uh, my junior year of high school. And actually, that was, I think I made an Instagram that day, or I changed the name, but I think I made it that day. And it was Slothy Seth. And um, so, and as time would go on, there would be some people who would actually call me Slothy. Uh, and I, I, it was never anything I actually called myself until I started to do music and I was racking my brain on what I should call myself and then I just settled on well hey the only thing I got already is sloppy like it's something people do call me already so let's just go with sloppy and it took at least a year for me to feel comfortable with that like I always felt weird even just calling myself slothy. And so, I don't know, I always felt a little bit weird about it. But it just kind of... just kind of made sense, I suppose. I've always... Maybe not always, but I've... For a good streak now, I've been a... Sleepy person. I remember in high... I remember in high school, like... Even before I ever smoked weed... 
just falling asleep in my classes and just I think that was my way of coping uh, like with stress or boredom and so you know sure enough the name Slothy comes around and um, and, and I liked it because it made sense and um, but I've always been someone who hated wasting time and and I've also been really good at wasting time but there's so much I want to do that I always feel behind especially with how much I uh, I sleep in with how much, you know, I give in the laziness. And so, since graduating high school, right after graduating high school, um, I ended up meeting someone who helped me get my business license in videography as a freelancer. And so, yeah, since high school, I've been dealing with self-discipline and I've had a hard time getting up out of bed and starting my task that is videography, that is being self-employed, being a freelancer, and yeah, so self-discipline has, has uh, I've racked my brain and I put so much energy into trying to figure out how to get this down and um, for whatever reason I'm experiencing breakthrough now at 25 and I'm so thankful like this is all I've been wanting my whole life I've wanted to feel productive I've wanted to do the things that I know I should be and not do the things I know I shouldn't be and I really feel I'm in a good group of that and it's not easy you know it seems like every night you know it seems like every night the devil or my brain wants to wants to be tempted with lust and um, so I've really been fighting that but I'm, uh, we're conquerors through Christ. And so I know I'm not alone in that. And I know that I don't need to be a victim because I'm not a victim. I am a conqueror in Christ. And I'm free because I have the spirit of the Lord in me. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. So here I am learning to break out of my shell experiencing the cracks and feeling the light shining through the cracks my light shine through the cracks that is my shell and it's weird because like I I know when I am that person I make people uncomfortable I know when I am like Christ I know I'm an inconvenience to other people and but yeah I'm also a bearer of light I'm also a healer I'm also a messenger of God's word and so it scares me to be like Christ it's all I've ever wanted but it scares me it's a real scary thing because I know what they did to my Savior my Savior Jesus lived a perfect life free of sin free of sin and on top of that he healed the sick he raised the dead and did miracles like turn water into wine like turn five loaves of bread into like 5,000 pieces of fish or something like that or fed 5,000 people from five loaves of bread and I believe he turned it into fish 
But yeah, he helped Peter, I believe it was, walk on water. And because of his unbelief, he started to sink. And so I'm learning and experiencing that nothing is more powerful than my faith and my belief in Christ. Because when I believe, it's possible. When I believe, it is possible. The scripture says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And that is so true. So that's why the enemy, the devil, wants to come against my mind. That's why these demons, these evil spirits, want to come against my mind and our minds. Because if they can get us to not believe, they can take away our power and they can take away our purpose. And they can basically take away water and sunlight from the seed God gave us. And so, you know, got a lot of ants on me, but it's okay. And so, yeah, I don't have a perfect analogy for this, but I know we're all born with a hole in our heart. And I feel that almost every day. And I know God's given us a seed that is to me his Holy Spirit and so if we want God's Spirit we need to ask him for it and then he plants that seed in us and that's how he fills the hole in our heart he plants a tree he is the tree of life and so when we don't believe that that seeds there when we don't believe there's power in Christ when we don't believe that he is good and that he is the way then we don't water that seed. When we have all these negative thoughts, then we don't put light on that seed. And so, yeah, um, here I am just saying that I am tired of being slothful. And I'm actually so tired of it at this point to where I'm, I, I'm not that anymore. And I'm not being that anymore. And, um, yeah, I will be changing my name. So, well, we're getting bit. So, yeah, I, I feel that seed growing inside of me. And I'm so excited. And I just want to do what I'm supposed to. And I want to make Abba happy, my father, my heavenly father. I want to make him so happy and I want to see what it is he wants to do in me and through me because if God has shown me anything it's that his plans for me are way bigger and better than my plans for me. I haven't had very many plans in my life uh, but somehow I've been to China, I've been to the Great Wall of China, I've been to the Philippines, I've been to Thailand. like. I've uh, somehow I've prayed over the sick and seen them healed. I've commanded uh, deafness to leave and it's left. And so that's the excitement that comes with Christ. Like we can genuinely make a difference. Some a lot of us think we can't make a difference, but we can't in our own lives. And that impacts the people around us. So we need to be a tree that is fruitful, filled with good fruit that others around us can eat from and take from. And to be a blessing to their lives. So, oh man, this got bright. So yeah, thank you for being here, really. Um, I'm just growing and I want to get to the point where I can give more advice. I mean, I could give advice. But I'm just sharing what I'm going through, and I really believe other people are going through this too. Like, there's so much going on in the world, and um, I don't want to limit my journey to just, I don't want to put a cap on my journey, you know? I, I don't know if there's that many people in my life that want to hear all this, 
but I feel like there's people out there that want to hear all this. And, um, you know, if you're watching this, then you're one of them. And so thank you for listening because I just want to be a blessing. And I know I felt really alone in my walk with Christ. And I just wanted to see other people on fire for Him, especially my age. And so, yeah, I hope this is encouraging. And, like, let's just be all that we can be and um, not worry about what other people say or think. And um, may we be ready for opposition. May we learn to fight in the spirit and to guard ourselves spiritually To May we be filled up in God's word and may we be prayed up and be in communion and uh, conversation with him daily, speaking in tongues and um, living a life of fasting. Like let's do all these things really and let's not talk about it. Here I am just um, pouring some fuel on the fire and the good fire uh, and encouraging you to keep fighting the good fight keep fighting the good fight of faith so it's hard to say bye once i'm rolling but i love you guys really and know you can really reach out if you need prayer um i'll pray for you and um if you want to connect you know on music if you want to send me your music i'd love to tell you my thoughts or maybe we could work on some music or um if you need video work that's my that's my thing and um, so yeah I'm here and um, and it was good chatting so thanks for tapping in it would benefit me a lot if you like this video and if you subscribed um, that would help me a lot so thank you so much love you all have a great day till next time how do you say bye on these videos? I don't know. See ya. Guys, I just broke my headphones. What's wrong? What's wrong with me? I broke my headphones.